so bad at intros. I'm so bad at outros. I'm so bad at like the stuff in the middle. Like I'm so bad at making videos. So like why do I do it anymore? Subscribe for the black hole that is my life. Hey guys, it's Lexi and today I'm going to show you my room. I believe I've done a couple of room tours before, but my room has changed since then and I thought I would show you guys. So when you first walk into my room, you usually see a huge mess, but I decided to clean up for you guys. So this is my beautiful clean room. And the first thing you see is my nightstand. And this actually used to be a nasty old piece of furniture that my mom got at the flea market. And we repainted it white and got new knobs. And now it's like this cute, cute little fun thing that exists in my room. I'm so good at DIYs. I should be on HGTV. That would not be good. That would not be a good show. And what you find on my nightstand is this huge, ugly, disgusting lamp that I hate that my mom got for me. And I liked it back in like third grade when I got it, but now I don't like it anymore and I want it gone. And right on there, there's a random spool of twine. Don't ask me why. I literally have no idea like what I even originally used it for. I was a different person freshman year. You guys have proof like poop. I also have a little like lamb jar thing full of hand sanitizers that I have never used that have been there since eighth grade. And then you see my mirror which is right behind my door which has like some random short Christmas lights and it ain't cute. Like it's not cute. It's all hanging down on one side. There's like a battery pack. It like it's not cute and I never use it so I don't even know why it's there. I guess it just adds like a little flair but like I never use it. And then you see my bulletin board which is basically me in one small area. It's just a bunch of random stuff that I have nowhere to put like the necklaces that hang at the bottom. They're really long and I have nowhere to put them and I only wear one of them but I have all of them. I also have a five seconds of summer calendar, which is very important to me. Hey Michael, looking good. And I have a poster of Harry Styles, which is very important to me. Too soon, too soon. It's fine, everything's fine. A map of the United States. I have no idea why that's there. And pins from when I shaved my head and was bald. My closet has a little stocking hanging from it, like a Christmas stocking, which is up there all year round, and I don't know why. I have nowhere to put it. Are you sensing a theme? I have a lot of stuff and nowhere to put them. And inside my closet, I have a bunch of clothing, some socks, some swimsuits in the drawers, and then a bunch of, like, dresses that I hate every single one of them. My jewelry box, my Harry Styles stress ball. I got a bunch of shoe boxes in the corner with absolutely not a single pair of shoes in them. And a top shelf with god knows what up there. I seriously have absolutely no idea what's up there. There could be a dead body and I wouldn't know. And finally, a bag with all of the mail I have gotten from colleges. And they've started calling my house. I can't escape. Next to my closet, I have a little laundry basket that is conveniently labeled laundry where I keep all my dirty laundry. It's really ugly, really cheap, has already broken in like three spots, but it works. And next to that is my huge dresser. It's very large and big and it holds my clothing. On top of it, I have just a big candle. I actually can't have scented candles because my mom gets like extreme headaches from them so all my candles are white and bland and unscented and lame. My Harry Potter books, I only have the first five and they're hand-me-downs for my mom's ex-co-worker's daughter. And two-thirds of the Peculiar Children series by Ransom Riggs and my sister is currently reading the second book, so that's why it's not there. In the middle, I got a big old box that holds a whole bunch of nothing. Again, a bunch of stuff I have absolutely nowhere to put. And on the other side, I have 
some other books because my bookshelf is not big enough to hold them all and I need to put them somewhere. And then next to that is my corner of shame. It's just a whole bunch of random garbage that I never use. I have like binders and tons of just folders of like school stuff and old textbooks that I have no use for whatsoever but I just keep in the corner piled up for absolutely no reason. And I have a bin that holds a Game Boy and a DS and a whole bunch of chargers. And also I have a random five sauce poster that I got from the girl I babysat last year that I have nowhere to put so I just leave it in my corner of shame. And then my desk being the number two place that I spend most of my time. My number one place being my bed. I have an actual locker shelf because you know I'm classy like that. And then a whole bunch of stuff from my desk organization haul video that you should definitely check out. I have a tray that's holding all my current journals and notebooks that I'm using and a letter organizer that holds all the paper that I ever need because when I was reorganizing my desk I was really stupid and didn't leave any space for any papers. So I have to put them all in there. And then I have a picture of me and my sister when we were younger at the beach that we used to go to every single year, Myrtle Beach. And I got that from her for my birthday last year in 2015. And next to my desk is a random chair full of random blankets and random stuffed animals that I have nowhere else to put. And above that is my shelf that holds my kind of Captain America shrine. I used to like be obsessed and in love with him, but now it's just kind of awkwardly there. My bookshelf is right in the corner of my room and it is a little spinny bookshelf that I hate and I never wanted and my parents got it for me anyway, but I hate it so much because it's tiny and ugly and nothing fits on it and I I hate it a lot. On top of my bookshelf, I just have a little bear and a piggy bank that I got when I was born and the book that I'm currently reading, Lady Midnight. And finally, my bed. It is a huge canopy bed that I fell in love with in third grade and wanted to hang tons of curtains from, but I really don't have anything on it now other than fairy lights like my mirror, which I never, ever, 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 ever use. This is a good bed, you know? It's, it's been through a lot with me. My dog has thrown up on it three times now, um, including the time that he literally threw up in my hands. It was great, it, really chunky and green. I currently have a comforter that was ripped on the corner when I threw it in the wash after my sister smeared chocolate all over it. But it's clean now, it's clean now, but it's ripped. And carrot cake. My favorite stuffed animal of all time ever. Carrot Cake used to hold her carrot like this, like her arms were sewn together, but um, eventually that stopped and she's like really ugly and matted down and nasty. Um, but I've had her for the longest time ever. I'd sleep with her every single night and take her everywhere with me. And right behind my bed is a painting that I never took down. My dresser used to be there, so I put it up and I never took it down. But it kind of looks good, I guess. I don't know. It's like centered and like, it's fine. So yeah, that was my room. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can click here to see my last video and here to subscribe. And I will see you guys next Friday. Bye. Kind of put it in the crease right here. It's okay if it goes around. If the powder comes out, that's good. Just take it all the way around if you want. Anyway, I also have... Rude.